Have you ever been with someone and wondered, are they in love with you or just infatuated with the idea of you? Imagine this, butterflies in your stomach, heart doing the cha-cha, and a constant smile plastered on your face. Ah, the blissful feeling of being in love. Or is it? Sometimes what seems like love might be more of a love story that they've crafted in their heads than a connection with the authentic you. It's a tricky situation and a hard truth to swallow, but recognizing the signs can save you from a world of heartache. So let's put the pieces together on this puzzle and explore some telltale signs that someone might be head over heels for the idea of you and not the real deal. When will my reflection show? Do you find yourself constantly hiding your quirks? denying your passions, or even changing your opinions to align with your crush's expectations? When we like someone, it's easy to fall into the trap of molding yourself into someone you think they'd like, too. But if they fall in love with this character you've created instead of the real you, what then? A genuine connection should celebrate your uniqueness, not suppress it. Approval Seeking Behaviors Are you guilty of people-pleasing? especially towards your crush? When you're constantly going above and beyond just to make your crush happy, it's essential to ask, are you doing it for them or because you fear losing their affection? A healthy relationship thrives on mutual understanding, not one-sided sacrifices. What do you think will happen when you stop with these superficial acts of love? Everything in common. Tell us if this sounds familiar. You meet someone, and suddenly, it feels like you've known each other forever. You have almost everything in common. Or do you? Rapid bonding and shared interests are fantastic, but if it's all happening at warp speed, it might be a sign they're more in love with the fantasy of a perfect connection than the real, gradual buildup of a genuine relationship. So if it seems too good to be true, it just might be. Whirlwind Romance Speed isn't always an indicator of a successful relationship. While whirlwind romances are the stuff of fairy tales, they can also be a potential red flag. If your partner is ready to slap the label of relationship on your connection before you even finish your first cup of coffee together, it could be a sign they're more invested in the idea of being in love than actually getting to know you. It's much better to pause first and ask yourself if you're genuinely getting to know each other or just creating an illusion of a deep connection. On the rebound. If your crush is still healing their wounds from their previous breakup, be careful. They might just be on the rebound. Sometimes people rush into new relationships to escape the pain of a recent breakup. And bouncing from one relationship to the next can be an indicator that someone is searching for the feeling of love rather than a connection with a specific person. Unrealistic expectations. Expectations can be the silent killers of relationships. Fantasizing about the perfect relationship is natural, but setting unrealistic expectations without communicating them is a recipe for disappointment. Open, honest conversations about your desires and boundaries can pave the way for a healthier connection. So if you're constantly comparing your crush to an ideal, it might be a sign that you're more in love with the fantasy version you have of them in your head rather than the real them. Denial and disappointment. So, how well do you really know your special someone? Do you allow them to be their true, authentic self around you? If you catch yourself not really letting them be who they truly are, it might be time to reassess. Expecting certain things in a relationship is normal, but when those expectations become rigid ideals, it can be a slippery slope. Reality might not always align with fantasy, and that's okay. A healthy relationship is all about embracing each other for who we truly are, not trying to force someone into a picture-perfect image. Out of the comfort zone. Ever felt like you were being nudged beyond your comfort zone without a safety net? While encouraging personal growth is essential, pressuring your crush to be someone they're not is a red flag. Say for example, that you're an introvert and they're an extrovert. They keep getting invited to all these social events that you don't want to go to. So instead, they just stay home with you all the time. But don't you think it reaches a point when it starts to make them unhappy? In the end, it's better to respect their boundaries and support them in their journey without pushing them into uncomfortable situations. 
Conceal, don't feel. Got any reasons why you and this person shouldn't be together? What are some ways they might not be a good match for you? Or maybe some recent mistakes they've made? Oh, you can't think of any? Selective memory can be a warning sign. After all, a balanced relationship acknowledges both the highs and lows. So if you find yourself only reminiscing about the good times and ignoring your partner's needs or concerns, it's time for a reality check. Are you really in love with them or the idea of them? Empty conversations. Communication is the glue that holds relationships together. So if you or your special someone shy away from having open and honest conversations, it could already be a clue that you're both more interested in preserving a fantasy of your relationship than actually working on it. Because genuine connection comes from embracing the messy but beautiful reality of who you are as people and the unexpectedness of life. When it comes to love, it's important to keep our eyes and hearts open. Recognizing these signs can be a step towards building a genuine connection and letting love unfold in its most genuine form. Remember, you deserve to be loved for who you truly are. Don't settle for someone who's infatuated with the idea of you. Hold out for the one who sees you, accepts you, and loves you authentically. So, have you ever loved the idea of someone more than the actual person? What made you realize it? Share your stories in the comments below. You can also click here to watch more videos like this, like six most effective ways to attract anyone you want, do you love them or just attached, and five habits that block intimacy. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.